in our discussion yesterday evening where we spoke about the topic why do bad things happen to good people we covered the following points <clears throat> first we discussed the five topics in the gita ishwar jiva prakriti kala and karma god soul nature time and activities after that we discussed prakriti or the material world and our acronym for this was cozy us where we discussed how this material world is like a prison facility and in the cozy the c stood for how the prison is a correction facility o stood for how it offers pain and punishment s stood for how we came here from the spiritual kingdom of god i stood for independence from god brought us here u stood for uniform in the prison which is this material body and s stood for shackles which represent the three modes goodness passion and ignorance we also discussed kala and the acronym was ecg kala or time is the executioner of all finishes one and all c the cycle of the universe satya twapar treta kali and the cycle of our own life from birth till death and g how it's how time acts as a gambler by taking ultimately everything away from us and then of course we discussed why do bad things happen to good people in elaborate details based on the law of karma <coughs> today we will talk a little bit about practical application of what we learnt in our life some of you may want to do something after we have heard all of these things if you are interested in doing something after hearing this philosophy then now on when you step out of this room what are you going to do is what we want to talk this evening if you are not interested in doing anything about it this session is not for you if you are interested in just it was a good talk it was interesting nice fun good jokes you know and interesting stuff then it's okay it's some philosophical exercise that you had understood things but if you are interested in trying to apply what we have learned in the last 5 days probably today's session is for you <coughs> yesterday if you remember we spoke about what should i do now isn't it good and bad karma both reactions are pending some reactions come immediately instant some come delayed why did i get the tuberculosis in 1997 in spite of my not having smoked drunk anything beyond my control some reaction from a past life why did i pass my exams even without studying at all <coughs> some good reactions from a previous life both good and bad reactions are in store for us both good and bad reactions are in store for us those that have not come yet some from a previous life some from 10 lives back some probably from 100 lives back a delayed reaction <coughs> which is why we discuss bad things or good things happen to good or bad people conversely <coughs> what should i do now you know till now i didn't know the law of karma yesterday so many of them came to me after the talk and kept asking me aaj tak jo kiya hai uska kya ha aaj tak jitna jitna kaam kiya hai acha bura dono uska kya and do you know something till the karma account is zero now you can't go back to the spiritual kingdom back home back to god that we spoke about yesterday we'll talk about that a little later today that the karmic account has to show a zero no good reactions left no bad reactions left then you can go if there is a single good reaction left also you have to come back to enjoy it i do something good to all of you i give in charity and i die so according to the law of karma i am supposed to receive back receive back money or receive back some prosperity as a good reaction but i didn't get it in this life i died consequently i have to come again just to make that reaction zero that's called the samsara chakra 
സംസാര ചക്ര ഓ ദ ഫെറിസ് വീൽ ഓഫ് ബേർത്ത് ആൻഡ് ഡെത്ത് പുനരപി ജനനം പുനരപി മരണം പുനരപി ജനനീ ജഠരേശയനം പുനരപി ജനനം പുനരപി മരണം ബേർത്ത് അഗൈൻ ആൻഡ് ഡെത്ത് അഗൈൻ ആൻഡ് ദെൻ ബോൺ അഗൈൻ ജഠരി janani jathare shayanam in the womb of a mother is it going to be a human mother is it going to be a she dog is it going to be a she cat is it going to be a tigress a lioness which mother's womb will i go back to in my next life a karma decides that what we do in this life you know but this ferris wheel will keep going even one reaction good or bad left the ferris wheel will keep going therefore human life is an incredible opportunity incredible opportunity i mentioned yesterday it's like a train junction <laughs> you know you've come to a junction in your life from a train junction you are able to make choices how many choices i mentioned last evening four if you do good primarily good punya in your next life you go to be a demigod or a resident on the heavenly abodes if you do a mix of good and bad you come back to planet earth as a human being <laughs> if you do primarily bad and sinful activities you glide down to the lower species like animals birds plants all three are bad because it still keeps us in this world someone was asking me yesterday is there truly a heaven is there truly a hell i mentioned once <laughs> for me heaven and hell is of two kinds one is the physical heaven and hell and second is the implied heaven and hell you remember i mentioned one of those days in the talk that william blake said mind can make heaven out of hell and hell out of heaven hell is here people are living a hellish life why do we need to go anywhere else hell is here when we are stressed depressed lonely in spite of having so much living a messed up complicated life you need to go to another hell mumbai is hell local trains hare krishna travel by the mumbai local trains and you will realize you know without any going to any yoga teacher you will do vrikshasana by holding this you know the pranayam will not be good because where the nose is <laughs> <laughs> and in the middle of the worst things if we have a composed mind we create heaven so that's one way of looking at heaven and hell but the other way of looking at heaven and hell is the literal heaven and the literal hell physical ones which do exist someone may say how can you say it exists <laughs> i'll give you two or three different perspectives on that You know in a city like Mumbai there's a place called Valkeshwar Teen Batti <laughs> My friend has a house there the worth of the property of the house is 1000 crores 1000 crores is the worth of the property of the house and the house itself the antiques inside hmm. that I'm not even included in the price I been to his homes many times several times taken lunch and dinner with them <coughs> and in the bathroom some of the toilet seats are gold plated <laughs> what do you do if you are constipated whether gold or silver it doesn't matter <coughs> <coughs> and then you go to some place like you know mulund ghatkopar or probably uh, what else is around do no no uh, what is that before mulund is what vikroli vikroli you know there you find apartments which are okay decent size nice but sometimes the you know the neighbor wala upar ka kachra dalega to khidki se thoda andar aa jata hai sometimes the plumbing is not proper leakages are there happens and then you go to dharavi 
धारा भी तो मतलब पूरा फ्रेग्रेंट सब्सटेंसेस आर फ्लोइंग स्ट्रेट इन द गटर्स देर रैट्स बिग ह्यूज रैट्स मूविंग अराउंड द म्यूजिक इज द नॉइज ऑफ द ट्रेन्स बैकग्राउंड म्यूजिक एंड डिस्कशन बिगिन विथ प्योर संस्कृत वैकेबलरी धारावी I find a city like Mumbai divided into three areas. A very affluent area, Teen Bhatti Valkeshwar, Lokhandwala, Five Gardens. A middle class area, Ghatkopar, Vikroli, Mulund. And a low economy area, like Dhara, where people can't even afford a proper home, but they live in a shack. Now, what decides how these zones are divided? The ability to pay. Your ability to pay decides where your zone is. Even in a microcosmic city or a microcosmic world, you have areas divided based on your socio-economic background. I am surprised. Why can't we believe that if on a microcosm, a small level we have these divisions, on a macrocosm, on the worldly level, we can't have these divisions? Why not? based on our ability to pay we can live in a bungalow or based on our ability not to pay we can live in a shack a jhopdi you know in the macrocosm the ability to pay is our karma in the microcosm the ability to pay is money based on your money you can get a bungalow based on your money you live in a shack you know in the macrocosm the cosmos the world our karma decides where we live there has to be a heaven there has to be a hell otherwise good activity is the price paid has no value if you have the money to pay and there's no place for you an affluent place to live what's the point if you're doing good activities and after good activities when your life ends if your good activities are not paid for by giving you a residence in a higher affluent area what's the point in doing good deeds and if you do bad deeds and you're not punished by allowing you to go and live in a shack what's the point of that you know having all those bad deeds therefore there has to be a physical heaven and there has to be a physical hell and in the united states of america it's a hot topic by the way there is a lot of books written on extraterrestrial beings unidentified flying objects ufos alien identities coming down way back in 1953 there was a case in america called the dorothy martin case a lady called dorothy martin who was an american had no clue <coughs> had no clue about hinduism no hindu names nothing at all and this lady <coughs> started communicating with four extraterrestrial beings and she even told their appearance she told their names the names dorothy martin mentioned were sanak sanatan sanandan and sanat kumar she told these four names she had no idea of any of the hindu culture and these four personalities are the sons of lord brahma called the four kumaras in our vedic literatures you know <coughs> coming from another dimension and talking to her in person now she wasn't a hindu she wasn't a hindu she wasn't an indian she wasn't a follower of the vedic path an american a western person would look at these kind of things with great skepticism and cynicism and then a whole area of research began into look at at et's extraterrestrial beings and ufos unidentified flying objects of course when i travel they also look at me as an extraterrestrial being no kon a gaye kahan se upar se tapak gaye there is a heaven there is a hell and there is the earth which is ghatkopar mulund heaven teen batti valkeshwar lokhandwala five gardens hell dharavi earth ghatkopar vikroli mulund thane dombivali chandivali whatever other suburban areas exist all three are there within the same city mumbai all heaven hell and earth are in the same material universe but people in tinbatti die people in dharavi die and people in ghatkopar die people in heaven die people on earth die and people in 
hell die brahma lives on the topmost planet with a life span of 311 trillion 40 billion earthly years and he still dies after that time span which means even if you do good deeds and go to the upper planets you still have to die can i not go to a place where death doesn't exist in heaven death exists on earth death exists in hell death exists i want to go to a place where i don't die the soul doesn't die so when i get my spiritual body i won't die time cannot influence it me and my family time cannot separate it when we go back to the home where we came from that spiritual world which is what we mentioned the fourth option as moksha therefore the first option is do good go up to the heavens but you die there as well do mix good and bad stay on planet earth again in your next life you can come as a human being you still die and go through all the encumbrances last option the third option was you do bad prominently and glide down to a lower species and still you have to die the fourth option was take shelter of god krishna and achieve what is called as moksha that is what we called as a karma right therefore as human beings we must live responsible lives make the proper choices now you will not get this chance again you probably do not realize the value of the body that you have you probably do not value as much the human birth that we all have got the rarity of the human birth that all of us have got you know something if because of my karma i become a tree again na in my next life i have to become all the species of trees then all the species of birds all the species of animals all the species of reptiles till i get a human birth again in between there is no choice like a junction ek junction se dusre junction the sara station se jana padega beech mein koi choice nahi hai so between a human birth and a human birth are all other births like the train stations you have no choice we have all arrived at the junction friends ladies gentlemen guys and girls don't don't ever underestimate the value of this extremely rare human form that all of us have you know <coughs> therefore now what do we need to do we have to act in a way that two things happen you know पुराना खाता जो है ना खत्म पहले जो पुराना गुड बैड का रिएक्शन सब है ऐसा कुछ करे जो पूरा खत्म होके जीरो और भविष्य में जो भी करेंगे ना उसका कोई रिएक्शन आएगा ही नहीं यू हैव टू डू टू थिंग्स ना ऑल द रिएक्शन दैट हैव बीन स्टोर्ड अप टिल नाउ ऑफ गुड एंड बैड यू डिड इन दो मेनी लाइफ शुड ऑल बी क्लियर एंड नाउ वट एवर यू डू शुड गेट नो रिएक्शन एट ऑल that kind of work is called a karma you know abhi tak jo paap kiye honge kya kya kiya hoga how many of you have taken a grasshopper ke wo hota hai na grasshopper kya bolte marathi mein nak toda manta nak toda you know and you tied a thread to it and a childhood aisa sa gol ghumaya kisi ne ha grasshopper hari krishna <coughs> how many of you have chicken kebab you don't have to raise your hands it's okay you don't have to raise your hands at all ha huh? kya kya nahi kiya hai kya kya gul khila hai pata nahi kis kis ghat ka pani kab kab piya hai kon kon se janam mein pata nahi aur abhi so chuhe kha ke billi haj ko chali so chuhe kha ke billi prem puri chali <laughs> so now we have to live and work in a way that we can clear the past reactions and there is no future reaction which means at the end of this life when i lay down on bed counting my last breath my karmic account reads zero there is nothing from the past left and there is nothing created after this point of time so because it's zero then the ferris wheel of birth and death stops and the soul leaves to go back to the kingdom that it originally came from it's something like you know credit card jo bhi credit card ka purana balance hai na 
सब क्लियर हो जाना चाहिए और आगे जो भी खरीदेंगे ना क्रेडिट कार्ड में क्रेडिट नहीं होना चाहिए दैट्स बेसिकली वॉट इट इज दिस थिंग कॉल्ड एज अकर्मा वॉट इज अकर्मा अकर्मा मीन्स नॉट डूइंग गुड अकर्मा मीन्स नॉट डूइंग बैड Akarma means living by the words of God and acting on behalf of God. How many of you eat Shrikhand? Okay. How many of you like Shrikhand? Okay, good. How many of you have eaten the Raj Bhog Shrikhand in Dwarka? Dwarka no Raj Bhog Shrikhand. Tamay khadu khadu na. Gujarati say say chena no, mat. Khadu tamay. Ha. राज भोग श्रीखंड फ्रॉम द्वारका अरे क्या आई विल टेल यू इफ यू हैवेंट इटन इट ना यू मिसिंग समथिंग इन लाइफ दैट श्रीखंड कॉल्ड राज भोग श्रीखंड इन द्वारका इज इनक्रेडिबल समथिंग कॉल्ड एज अ प्लेन श्रीखंड एंड देर इज समथिंग कॉल्ड एज अ केसर युक्त श्रीखंड है ना केसर युक्त और आम्र युक्त आम्रखंड केसर आम्र युक्त केसर आम्रखंड The other day I went to Prem Raja's house. His wife Payal Mata Ji. She made some gajar halwa, you know. And I never ever had kesar yukt gajar halwa. I mean, generally it's not a common thing to add kesar to hal gajar halwa. I, because I've always treated the Punjabi stuff. Never had that. First time I even looked at a dash of kesar and halwa. I said, "Wow, what an incredible flavor!" You know, kesar yukt gajar halwa. So there is Shrikhand. Add kesar that becomes kesar yukt shrikhand. There is work. Add Krishna that becomes Krishna yukt work. Just like you have kesar yukt shrikhand and plain shrikhand, you have plain work and Krishna connected work. When you have plain work, there is reactions to it, good and bad both. When there is Krishna connected work, there is no reactions to it. It is called. a karma will anything change no you will still continue eating but now with the krishna connection offering it to krishna and taking krishna's prasad will you work yes you will still continue working but with the krishna connection we trying to use the returns in some way shape or form in service to krishna by using your position in trying to Talk about Krishna to someone else. Add God to your life. Will your family change? No, your family will still remain the same with Krishna added to your life. Like Shri Khand is going to remain. The basic stuff will remain. What has to be added is Krishna. The philosophy of the Gita is to add God to your life. You know, add Krishna without a change, which we will come to a little later as well. There is a beautiful saying that we have: a family that prays together. stays together a family that sings together clings together a family that dances together advances together and a family that dines together shines together and how are they going to do it a family that sings together what there's a lady who show all that glitters is gold And she's by in the stairway to heaven. Not the song. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. All what you do continues with the added connection of God. That is called as a karma. You don't have to change anything. You don't have to stop your work. You don't have to stop your family life. You don't have to stop anything at all. All you need to do is make that connection and act the way the Lord taught us in these words in the Gita, which we will all be hearing eventually by entering into the details of every verse of the Gita. You know. You know what? A army man. He is on the battlefield, Indo Pak. and an indian soldier shoots five pakistani soldiers and comes back or any soldier kills any other country soldiers on behalf of the army and comes back what is done to him he is awarded 
is given medals isn't it my friend was in the indian air force and he used to always tell me hamare yahan ek kahawat thi bulao he said hamare yahan kahawat kya thi aaj bharti kal chakravarti aisa nahi hota aaj army mein bharti ho gaye kal ko chakravarti ho gaye bole 6 din ka course ho gaya kal se karma khatam doesn't happen between the bharti and the chakravarti a lot of battles have to be fought so when he fights on behalf of the government the army he is awarded the same guy takes his gun and goes around in his village and starts shooting anyone and everyone whom he sees what's done to him he's punished he's hung to death as soon as this guy starts acting on his individual whimsical fancies he's punished as soon as this guy acts on behalf of the army he's honored when we act on our own by taking our life on our own make choices on our own we do agood we do bad we are punished by the good and the bad reactions in the ferris wheel of birth and death when we start acting on behalf of god arjun yudhishthir all the pandavas they acted on behalf of god we won't do what i want to do the whole conclusion of the gita was krishna arjun told krishna my dear lord i'm not going to fight because i don't like it i'm not going to fight because i like it it's not a question of my like or my dislike it's a question of your like you want me to do it for the establishment of dharma i shall do it you don't want me to do it i shall not do it as soon as one starts moving towards that that is called as a karma journey lamba lagta hai nahi लॉन्ग जर्नी अभी कृष्णा अगर मुझे बोलेंगे कि अरे ये छोड़ दो वो छोड़ दो हरे कृष्णा कैसे चलेगा मैं कैसे अकर्मा करूंगा करूंगी देखते हैं ना आगे कैसे करेंगे हाँ डोंट वरी वी विल सी हैव इट गोज व्हाट कम्स टू योर माइंड व्हेन यू हियर द वर्ड योगा आसन ना आसन आता है ना याद माइंड में तुरंत अलग अलग तंगड़ी इधर पैर उधर प्राणायाम में फुसफुस प्रेशर को कर समटाइम्स इट गोज फॉर टू लॉन्ग यू नो इट्स क्वाइट अमेजिंग हाउ पीपल यू नो स्ट्रगल दे होल्ड देयर ब्रेथ इट्स अमेजिंग सीन्स टू वॉच विन पीपल यू गज नाइस but immediately as soon as we hear the word yoga now this is what comes to our mind some exercises pintu no pintu he had the bad habit of biting nails you know so they took him to ramdev baba's yoga shibir so after the yoga shibir now pintu bites the nails of his toes while doing his asana <laughs> a 90 year old guy died you know and after his death he came to heaven and saw the beautiful apsaras and dancing damsels there he said are 30 saal pehle aaya hota agar baba ramdev na hota i missed 30 years of association of this beautiful girls because of that pranayam he taught me you know <laughs> yoga is not about pranayam yoga is not about physical exercise that's just a part of yoga but today in today's day and age yoga means exercise it's a misnomer you know like when you talk about vegetable fat it's vegetable fat but what do you say dalda any vegetable fat means dalda mein banaya are you brand hai dalda any photocopy machine means xerox are it's not xerox ek xerox karke do bhai are xerox is a brand it ek photocopy karke do baba you know that's how it is it just caught in our heads yoga means exercise dalda means vegetable fat xerox means a photocopy you know just gone in our heads you know what is your favorite asan everyone's favorite asan it's called shavasan they love it aram se in in our brahmachari ashram in our monastery we used to do yoga <laughs> and one day one guy he did shavasan and slept and started snoring <laughs> so the yoga teacher said utho abhi ho gaya <laughs> what is the meaning of yoga yoga means to reunite 
to reconnect to join back you know to make a lost relationship start again hamara relationship toot gaya hai bhagwan se with krishna we broke that relationship forgot him and came to this world we spoke about that yesterday yoga means to once again re establish that relationship with krishna anything that falls short of re establish that, re- that relationship with god is not yoga anything that falls short of once again relinking to krishna is not yoga it's very easy to break a relationship very difficult to make it again you know therefore when we came here by leaving him it was easy now to go back to do this yoga process again won't be as easy isn't it to break a relationship kya time lagta hai thak dil ke tukde tukde karke muskura ke chal diye you know one uh, guy he was out of town and he realized that it was his fiance's birthday so he realized that if fiance's birthday i am out of town i have to do something so he called the local florist and told him send her a bouquet of 24 roses and at the bottom of the rose rose bouquet put a tag saying the exact number of roses that you look like 24 he said that it's a compliment na the exact number of flowers that you look like that's your age so he came back from wherever he had gone and the relationship broke the engagement broke and he tried finding out what happened what happened finally he went to the florist said kya hua the florist said mere ko 24 roz na aaj tak kisi ne order diya hi nahi to main socha pehla customer hai 24 roz order diya main 10 extra dal diya aur niche tag lagaya the exact number of roses you look like to bola 34 dikh ke main jaa to are breaking a relationship na doesn't take anything to make a relationship again na goodness how much effort that takes even in this life yoga is about once again re establishing that rot lost relationship with krishna there are different types of yoga mentioned in the gita you know like if you have a relative overseas living in canada montreal if you were to connect to him what were the ways you would connect to him write a letter right or probably now it's all very old fashion so send an email or oh, email maybe is not so personal email is not so personal probably call on a cell phone you know they track you everywhere if you have a cell phone kidhar bhi jao bachta rehta hai one guy was in a gym doing his exercise and after the exercise he was changing and in the changing room a phone rang so he picked up the phone and a lady spoke darling i am at the shopping mall and i saw a purse it's so beautiful i want it can i get it he said how much so just about 5 lakh rupees darling that's all said 5 lakhs ka purse if you buy what will be inside the purse <laughs> i said no problem go ahead go ahead get it so but darling i'm also here and i've loved a pair of shoes they're just so fun and they you know they're so pretty with sorovsky stones you know they're very pretty honey can i get it so how much so just about 2 lakhs darling that's all designer shoes please can i can i so okay okay bargain for about 10000 less and get it darling i must tell you something the car that we have is so old and dilapidated i just saw a a jaguar can i get it so nothing more huh? okay go ahead take it so, thank you thank you honey thank you he hung the phone and said whose cell phone is this apna kya jata hai you can give tell honey honey keep saying yes and then kisi ke dose ke phone they can keep tracking you all over the world with your cellular phones <laughs> my goodness hari krishna you know something you can connect to a guy overseas through a letter through an email through a cellular phone or 
the best way to do is to just take a flight and go the most personal way letter handwritten has feelings but still it's a letter email is worse sir actually not better but it's still type written but still okay quicker phone more personal you know more personal in talking but a flight wow incredible you know all the relatives of the guy who is in the us go on a b1 b2 visa to visit them visitors visa relative na malvano che and i want to i don't know the gujarati line but i want to meet our relatives there are four ways to connect to a relative similarly if you want to connect to that relative who is overseas krishna in the spiritual kingdom there are four types of yoga four ways to reconnect the first one is called karma yoga you know what karma yoga means connecting to krishna through our work through our work as a lawyer as a chartered accountant as a doctor as a company secretary as an actuary as a surgeon as a housewife as a mochi cobbler as a tailor as a barber you know as a driver taxi driver connecting to krishna through our work karma is called karma yoga yoga means connection to krishna relinking to krishna connecting through work is karma yoga we use our senses for that physical body to work and connect the second way to connect to krishna probably you can compare it to the email maybe is gyana yoga where you connect through your knowledge through acquiring knowledge about him connect through reading understanding meditating on the temporary nature of this world meditating on the greatness of god through knowledge what gyana yoga uses is intelligence because it requires knowledge the third way to connect to krishna is dhyana yoga dhyana yoga involves meditation dhyana where you use your mind to focus on the lord within the heart you know sit in a meditative posture close your eyes hear the sound of silence sound of silence only hear the sound of silence nothing else you should feel your breath going in and out in and out be conscious and eventually you shouldn't even feel the breath nothing around should distract you you should be totally in a state of trance called samadhi where you focus totally on the lord within and connect to him hai na mind idhar baithe hain lecture sun rahe itna mazak chal raha hai joke marno phir bhi man bolta hai khatam kar yaar imagine in meditation kya hoga <laughs> people meditate and they are thinking about the stock market you know it's quite amazing they sitting in meditation and they thinking about the stock market prices mind is a very crazy entity very crazy the last way to connect to krishna is through bhakti yoga which is through love where we use our soul you know what lord krishna says in the gita which is the best yoga bhakti yoga is the best i am not even going in the other details you will not be able to figure it out now the other yogas we will discuss when we start the gita and then as we progressively move from chapter 1 you will be able to understand more about it but just just give you a taster four types to connect to krishna work knowledge meditation and love karma gyana dhyana bhakti right and krishna says bhakti is the best i went to a person's home for lunch they are hoteliers they have about 10 restaurants in mumbai they have started two in bengaluru they are opening a few in hong kong very soon they are going to franchise their restaurants in singapore and they this gentleman has just gone to us to get some franchisee rights in the us as well big man lot of restaurants and a very close friend so they keep inviting me for lunch you know at least once in two months i go to the house for lunch minimum and his father oh what excellent dosa maker when he makes his dosas he makes the dosas whenever i go into the kitchen oh crisp and fine and thin i haven't had a dosa like that in my life abhi aap bolenge are leke jayenge to pata lagega aise bol ke koi fayda hai leke chalo fir pata lagega kitna acha hai keval bada hi karte so the younger son 
is an excellent chef. I mean, excellent is not the word. Super excellent. And his speciality is desserts. And just about two weeks back, I went to the house for lunch. And he had stayed back in the restaurant in their company, where they make all these cakes and pastries and all of that, for a whole night, making about eight varieties of cakes for me. Only. And after eating all of these dosas and everything, I didn't have any appetite to eat the cakes further. I said, sorry, Baba, I can't. He said, Prabhu, this is a blackberry and blueberry cheesecake. I'll tell you, just try it. I'll guarantee you, you will go for a second. Then he brought the others. There was a peach cheesecake. There was a raspberry cheesecake. There was a kiwi cheesecake. There was a blueberry blackberry combined cheesecake. And now others I won't mention. So I say, Mere paas dekh reka hai. <laughs> Prabhuji, aapke ashram mein humko bhi lenge kya? <laughs> aapki to bhoot mohut chalti hai lagta hai. Then I asked him, look, his name is Anand Krishna Prabhu. I told him, Anand Krishna Prabhu, you are the one who made all of these. And I can't take more than half a piece of one of these. You tell me, which one should I take? He said, look, Prabhu, I made them, I put the ingredients, I have tasted them, and I can tell you which one is the best. The blueberry, blackberry cheesecake, take it. I tasted it, I was full till here, I took a second, you know. And I am not a man who is too much fond of sweets and stuff. I had it. Incredible. A guy who knows the whole variety, who made them, can tell us which one is the best. Lord Krishna is the one who is giving all the varieties of cakes. The karma yoga, jnana yoga, dhyana yoga, bhakti yoga. His opinion about which is the best matters more than our opinion. He has to tell us which is the best. Hum to bolte rahe kuch bhi apne man se. In the Gita, Lord Krishna explains Bhakti Yoga is the best of all the four types of connections to Him. You know why? Two points. First, Bhakti Yoga is about adding, not subtracting. Bhakti Yoga is about adding Krishna to life. Bhagwan ko jivan mein jodiye, kuch bhi chodiye mat. The message of bhakti is not about chhodna. The message of bhakti is about jodna. If any of you get a check with a series of zeros signed by Mr. Mukesh Bhai Ambani, matlab main check sign karke do to bolega ye phakkad ka check kya farak padta hai? Zero to us pe hai aur ye bhi zero hai. In all honesty, I don't have a bank account. I don't have a single naya paisa. Imagine. Not one pai to my credit. Nothing. I'm a phakkad phakir. Nothing. No money at all. Imagine. <laughs> Incredible, isn't it? What a life it is. <laughs> no money at all for my meal every day. I have to depend on a temple. All three meals a day come from the temple. I can't choose to eat this or that. Whatever the meals of the temples are, what I eat. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. And they are such incredible meals that I don't even have the desire to eat anything else. But it's quite amazing. If you get a check, five zeros there, signed by Mukesh Bhai Ambani from an authentic band, his signature, post dated check, what will you do? Fek denge? Balare zero zero hai sab chhi. Hek. Fek do. Zero zero hai sab. One lady na. Her husband was dying. And the husband told the lady, Look, when I die, na, all my possessions should be put in my coffin. Said, promise. The lady put the hand in his hand and promised on his dead breath. Yes, darling. When you die, I'll put it all. And he died. So the lady went for the burial. Christian lady. So she had a bag, you know, bag, tied up bag, like small bag. And she came to the burial 
and was placed that bag in the coffin and the coffin was closed so the priest came and the lawyer came the lawyer said you're not cranky are you he's gone what did he put in that bag he said everything that he had i put it in that bag he said are you a nut he's dead what will he do with all of that you put everything in there he said yes i sold everything put the money in the bank got a check put it in the bag and put it very very goes again withdraw it you know check dal diya usko jahan bhi chahiye wo le lega paisa what will you do with a check with five zeros leave it add a number what number would you add sir 9 jitna jagah baaki hai khali la lo left side mein no 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 aur right side mein zero jitna bada na hai badate raho ji you are a gujarati bhai no are marwadi bolte na jahan bhi jaye gaadi wahan jaye marwadi one marwadi man and a chinese man were traveling by train you know so one machhar came and sat on the chinese man head indian train he took the machhar and ate it khata hai wo to kya jo bhi hilta hai khata hai chinese kya ke kha liya one machhar came and sat on the marwadi man said next to him only he said kharidega my god marwadi gujarati business sindhi community business community you would put nines isn't it what adds value to the zeros is the number on the left our body is a zero our money is another zero family another zero assets another zero skills and talents another zero in and of themselves they are valueless in and of themselves they are valueless you know you can see in and of themselves in and of itself money can't give pleasure you can see in and of itself assets can't give pleasure you can see in and of itself even the family can't give pleasure after a while same boredom i am amazed you know relationships you know same thing same person every evening every day you come back from home see the faces of each other every day what do you talk life long you have to keep talking keep loving keep sharing what what the initial thrill is all gone you know all gone before marriage she was chandramukhi you know two years after the marriage she was suryamukhi and 10 years after she was jwalamukhi volcanic eruption i'll tell you <laughs> my god in and of itself na even a wedlock and any relationship at all is a zero gets boredom so much boredom and in our brahmacharya ashram in our monastery na we have 150 people 150 monks like me so if i can't do with one na 149 are still there i can go to one amongst the 149 talk to him be with him if i don't like one family mein kya If I don't like him or her and can't go along, who will pay for it? Therefore, TV, movie, alcohol, drugs. My God, you know it can be hackneying after a while. Hackneying, very boring and hackneying unless there is an effort put to understand each other, and the sense of duty drives us, and the sense of caring for each other drives us more than just the thrill and the excitement of it. You know. another zero what the gita tells us what is the path of bhakti don't give up the zeros don't give up the body don't give up your assets don't give up the family nothing at all keep everything add the nine once the nine comes every zero gets a value the body becomes of value the family becomes of value assets become of value and the same things that would not give contentment now start giving contentment here is a formula the gita is telling us how to make the things of this world meaningful and give us that pleasure and contentment add nine add god add krishna like kesar yukta shrikhand don't take the shrikhand away add the kesar 
Don't take your family, money, assets, profession away. Add Krishna to every aspect of life. And each aspect of this life will start giving you fulfillment. It's quite amazing, you know. Quite amazing. And I've seen and known so many people over the last over nearing two decades now. Wealthy people, affluent people, successful people, simple people, poor people, professionals, housewives, students, kids. And all of these people have only learned the art of trying to add Krishna. And life has become a different experience for them. You know? Therefore, bhakti, Krishna says, is the best. You know why? Because you don't have to subtract. You have to add. Chodiye mat. Bhagavan ko jodiye. I want to tell you a king story. There was a king once. And the king had four queens. You know. The first queen the king had, whatever this queen demanded, na, the king would give her. I want a, I want a, Platinum necklace. Okay, take it. I want a sari made of gold fibers and basra pearls. Take it. Jo bhi mangana hai rani ne, raja ne diya bas. Rani ka maa kaam mangana, raja ka kaam de na. The second queen was beautiful. So the king would take this queen around and say, Meri Rani hai. Dikhane wali thi wa, showpiece. This is my queen. Beautiful. The whole world knew this is his queen. She was for showing everyone. Look at the beauty of my queen. The third queen was a queen with whom the king would come and reveal his heart. His joys and his sorrows. His successes and his failures. He would share his heart with that queen. And the fourth queen, the king never attended to her, always neglected her, never bothered to look at her, never bothered to acknowledge her presence, kept going that way. Time had it for the king, the king was about to leave his body, he was dying. So he called the first queen and said, Rani, mere saath jaogi? The queen said, Satya gaya hai tu? You are dying, you are asking me whether you will come with me. In fact, I will be the first one to cut any connections that I have with you. The king was so disappointed. He is saying, I will be the first one to cut any connections with you. The king called the second queen. You will go with me? The queen said, um, <laughs> You are asking me to go with you? As soon as you go, I will run away with another guy. So that to upset the king even more. The first one is to cut the rishta, so he is saying the rishta is cut and he will run away with the Too much. The king called the third queen. Said, you will come? She said, yes, darling, I will come. Till the crematorium. <laughs> Beyond that way. <where. laughs> and the king didn't have the guts to call the fourth queen. He never attended to her. He always neglected her. Will you come? He didn't even ask her. She came of her own self and she said, You may have neglected me, king, but I've always loved you. That's why I showed that queen with the heart, you know, the last one. I've always loved you, my dear king. And therefore, I will go wherever you go, beyond the crematorium, jump in the funeral pyre, go with your soul, wherever you go. You know something? This is the story of our life. The soul... We are the king. And each one has four queens. The first queen is the body. Whatever this queen has demanded, we never denied it. This queen wanted a dolce gabbana. Didn't deny, you know. This queen wanted to eat pizza from smoking joes. Didn't deny it. This queen wanted to rest in a Dunlop bed, didn't deny it. Whatever this queen has demanded, have we refused it? Who will be the first one to cut any connection with us? This queen, this body. You know, you know what the second queen is? 
our cars, our bungalows, our money, our assets, all for showing others. We don't use it all. It's all to show. Dekho mere paas kya hai. Dekho mere paas kaun si gaadi hai. Dekho mere patni kitni sundar hai. It's quite amazing. We show it all to others and draw others envy. <laughs> it's quite amazing. You show it all to others. It's all meant to show others and people are all looking at it. इतने जल रहे हैं ना अंदर से मस्त है बहुत बड़ी है अंदर से इतने जल रहे बाहर बास मार रहे इट्स क्वाइट अमेजिंग आई लाइक एन इंग्लिश प्रॉब इट्स इज पीपल बाय थिंग्स दैट दे डोंट नीड विथ मनी दैट दे डोंट हैव टू इंप्रेस पीपल हुम दे एनी वेज डोंट लाइक लुक एट द आयरनी ऑफ लाइफ This queen is for showing. As soon as we go, na, this queen runs away with another. Bhai ki ho jati hai, patni ki ho jati hai, aur ani bhag jati hai dusre ke saath. The third queen is family. We share our joys and our sorrows with the wife, kids, family. And when we go, they can at best come till the crematorium. Never beyond that. There is one queen that is neglected. God. Never pay attention to that queen, you know. but that queen loves us and therefore wherever we go the network follows tu jahan jahan chalega mera saaya saath hoga what is geeta about not to neglect the other three queens but to focus on the fourth queen if you focus on the fourth queen the nine then each zero gets a value and the second thing about bhakti yoga is its simplicity it is extremely simple karma yoga gyan yoga dhyan yoga are extremely difficult and it's outside the scope of the talk today to describe the difficulties i'll give you only one example in dhyan yoga you have to sit like this for meditation you know and while you sit like this you cannot practice gyan yoga and dhyan yoga at home you have to give up your wife and family and take to the renounced order to practice gyan yoga and dhyan yoga how many are ready are you ready to give up the wife the husband taiyar hai ki bhaiya are mata ji pakad ke maregi mere ko bahar ja ke mere pati ko le jate ho <laughs> the practices are so tough bhakti yoga is extremely simple what is the simplicity of bhakti god does not see what you do god sees the intention with what you do in karma yoga krishna will see the purity of the work not your intention in gyana yoga krishna will see the caliber of your knowledge not your intention In Dhyan Yoga, Krishna will see the meditative postures and the fixedness of your mind, not your intention. In Bhakti Yoga, Krishna will see your intentions, and even if you make some mistakes here and there, He will say, "ठीक है, मेरा ही बच्चा है, गलती सबसे होती है, लेकिन ये मुझसे प्रेम करता है, प्रेम करता है. आया है ना? इस journey of self discovery सुनने आई है ना? आया है ना तो हम बोलते हैं अरे सो रहे हैं भगवान क्लास में मैं क्लास देता हूं सोते हैं मेरे सामने बैठ के कृष्ण से अरे यहां नहीं कम से कम प्रवचन में ही सो रहा है ना चलेगा उसका भी बेनिफिट मिलेगा उसको वट अमेजिंग यू नो वन फादर ही आस दिस सन हाउ मच इज नाइन इंटू एट द सन सेट सिक्सटी टू father gave him a chocolate wow beta 9862 take the chocolate great so one neighbor said you are a nut you tell me first 9 is the how much because you are giving him chocolate saying 62 so 9 is the 70 why are you giving him chocolate is saying giving a wrong answer the father said yesterday he was saying 52 you <laughs> hey, know today he has moved from 52 to 62 and the journey from 52 to 62 should be rewarded if that is rewarded and he feels confidence 
he will move from 62 to 72 tomorrow you know what krishna says have you moved from where you were to the next step many of you didn't even believe and you have made that extra step to come for so many days and krishna will reward that step bhakti is such a simple process all the little tiny baby steps we take towards him krishna rewards that you know what is the power of bhakti if a totally drunk guy completely drunk comes in the temple and because of his drunkenness falls on the temple altar krishna will say dandavat pranam kiya hai mujhe believe me you krishna gives that man the credit of having offered dandavat pranam what a powerful process i'm not saying drink and come and fall and then get the credit ye to bolega acha bata diya abhi kal se hamare mangal aarti mein sab up oh my goodness bhakti is a process of love it's not a process of work it's not a process of knowledge it's not a process of control of the mind and meditation it's a process of love and where there is a love in love small things are considered big and big mistakes are pardoned big mistakes are part if you love your family your wife your husband whoever na choti si cheez bhi karta hai na usko bada karke bolti hai wo jante ho kya kiya mere liye kya kiya aaj mere liye mandir se rasmalai la rasmalai la kab se saadi mang rahi thi wo nahi laya are saadi aa jayegi koi baat nahi dekhi na prem se laya na where there is love na the thing doesn't matter today the world is so much about things that we have forgotten the feelings behind those things gifts are about things today we are not about feelings food when you call someone for home for food na it's about what variety of menus you give today it's not about your affection behind it so low this age is isn't it you have forgotten to appreciate the genuine fine sentiments and feelings of love krishna is a connoisseur not of tastes and gadgets krishna is a connoisseur of love he tastes the love behind everything we offer to him in karma yoga it's work in gyan yoga it's knowledge in dhyan yoga it's mind control in bhakti yoga it's love with love do whatever little you can he is not asking you to do the most do whatever little you can krishna is giving us those options add me to your life as much as you can and i shall take you on that one little tiny baby step you take from 52 to 62 na i shall reward it and i shall hold your hand to take you from 62 to 63 then i shall take you hold your hand to pull you from 63 to 68 with that big leap i shall hold your hand from 63 to 72 and bring you to perfection in your bhakti when your life goes you will come back to me itna to karna swami jab pran tan se nikle you know what an amazing process of bhakti because it is based on love small things krishna blows it up and big mistakes he pardons relationship has a lot to do with forgiveness appreciating the small simple acts of affection and love and pardoning the big blunders that happen this is the foundation on which a relationship moves ahead on appreciating the simple joys the simple exchanges of love and affection and pardoning the heavy blunders that you make krishna head of that department you know in appreciating the simple things that we do for him and pardoning the massive blunders that we may do my god you know i'll tell you even in our iskon society some of our men have done such abominable things you cannot even think of you cannot even think of people who even wore these clothes have fallen to such base levels of depravity and thus such done such obnoxious things but krishna is a connoisseur of love he didn't see the act he saw it so victim of circumstance hota hai galti sabse hota hai bada hai ho gaya hai galti theek hai 
uska thoda bahut reaction aa gaya thoda bahut he suffered a little bit now i'll pull him back all those men who gave up all these practices fell to real low class things were pulled by krishna back again because that's what he is a god of love are you all with me so bhakti is indeed the best process because of two things first it's a process of adding not subtracting second it's a very simple process because it's based on love where small things are blown up by him and big blunders are pardoned don't say abhi license mil gaya kuch bhi karo hai na bhagwan kshama karne ke liye not that we take license but it does pardon you know now you may say how do i practically uh, practice bhakti yoga daily in my life first thing approach a guru and learn unless you learn how to practically do it in your life you cannot read a book and learn it you cannot read a book and learn it an american man came to india and he was standing at dadar station somehow he wanted the railway experience so he went by train he was standing at dadar station so dadar station has those book stalls you know books beste na udhar so he went there and he got a heart attack and fell on the spot heart attack mila book book liya hath mein he took a book and taking the book in the hand he fell on the spot and got a heart attack so later they found out the book was become a doctor in 30 days he was a doctor who spent years in a university to get that degree and get all that experience and you know how india is तीस दिन में अपना डॉक्टर बनी स्वयं डॉक्टर बनी अरे डॉक्टर किताब पढ़ के बन सकता है ना आदमी लॉयर किताब पढ़ के बन सकता है ना इंजीनियर किताब पढ़ के बन सकता है ना घर में बैठ के सीख पढ़ सकता है और इंजीनियर बन सकता है वॉट यू कैन लर्न फ्रॉम एन एक्सपर्ट हु हैज डाइजेस्टेड द सब्सटेंस ऑफ दैट बुक यू कैन नेवर लर्न बाय रीडिंग दैट बुक यू नो एंड देर फॉर द फर्स्ट स्टेप इज अप्रोच अ टीचर अ गुरु whether it's academics or exercise you need a coach or music you need a coach and spirituality doesn't need a coach i'm always surprised you know every area of life needs training you have you can't read the book and get it for yourself after reading the book you need a teacher to teach you what the meaning of that book is you know and therefore the first step in practically applying the gita is approach a guru and learn don't pick up the book and read picking up the book and reading has not done any good to anyone in this world no one has been able to practice anything without going to a teacher an expert a master a spiritual master you know someone may say how do i look for a guru what is the qualification of a guru the qualification of a guru is that he has to first be connected to a parampara you know i have a uh, where is the charger it's right here i think where did they put it for charging it's right here you know there's a plug point here ne i'm going to pick it up while it's on only doesn't matter there's a plug point here you know and my laptop is plugged into this is it getting charged yes it is it was निकल गया ही सॉरी स्टार्ट हो गया स्टार्ट हो गया यू नो वे दिस इज कनेक्टेड दिस प्लग पॉइंट एनी आइडिया वे इज दिस कनेक्टेड दिस प्लग पॉइंट इज कनेक्टेड टू सब स्टेशन दैट सब स्टेशन इज कनेक्टेड टू अनदर सब स्टेशन दैट सब स्टेशन इज कनेक्टेड टू अनदर सब स्टेशन एंड अल्टीमेटली ऑल द सब स्टेशन आर कनेक्टेड टू द पावर स्टेशन द जनरेटिंग स्टेशन फ्रॉम वेर द पावर कम्स If that connection is not there, na plug point to ekdom first class dikh raha hai. Lekin under bijli nahi hai. What is the use? Similarly, what is a guru? A guru is a plug point. What are we? We are all appliances. We can get connected to the plug point, but usme power hai kya? When will the power come? Only when the guru is connected to his guru. His guru is connected to his guru. His guru is connected to his guru, and that guru is ultimately connected to the final guru, Krishna. One day, Jagat Guru, the first Supreme Lord Krishna, gives knowledge to four personalities. 
फर्स्ट ब्रह्म सेकेंड लक्ष्मी थर्ड लॉर्ड शिव फोर्थ द फोर कुमार दैट आई स्पोक ऑफ द डॉरिटी मार्टिन केस द सन्स ऑफ ब्रह्म एंड देन दे पास ऑन दैट नॉलेज टू इन दू देर डिसाइपल देर डिसाइपल पास ऑन टू देर डिसाइपल and the chain continues like electricity comes from the power station to the substation next substation next substation and finally power comes to this socket my god what is the proof that there is electricity in this hath laga ke dekho chagan bhai bole hamare hai na hath laga ke dekho pura jhatka aisa transformation aa jayega correct when you connect to a guru he has to bring in transformation guru is not about wearing nice clothes and having you know nice white beard flowing out sometimes they dye their beards also to make them look silvery and few black strands here and there style lagta hai kya style lagta hai malum hai and then they wear clothes in a flowing manner in a way Hear the sound of silence. <laughs> Savor the sound of silence. Ponga pandit hai. Connection kida hai? You have to have connection to one of these four sampradays. The Brahma Sampradaya, the Shri Sampradaya, Lakshmi, the Rudra Sampradaya, Lord Shiva, and the Kumar Sampradaya, the four Kumaras. And in their line, the four main Acharyas who came were Madhvacharya, Ramanuja Acharya, Nimbarka Acharya, Vishnu Swami, all Gujarati Pushti Margi Vaishnavas. Please take note which parampara your Pushti Marg Vaishnav belongs to. All the Gujarati Pushti Marg Vaishnavas, followers of Shri Pad Vallabha Charya, are connected to the Rudra Sampradaya, beginning from Lord Shiva. Krishna gave that knowledge to Lord Shiva, and that line comes down, and Vallabha Charya was one amongst that line, and that's where that parampara begins. If you want to go to a guru, na, don't go to anyone, because if you go to anyone here and there, your pluck point is there, but the connection to the power station is not there. In his con, Shila Prabhupad comes in the Brahma line, the first line, you know, and therefore the first qualification of the guru is he should come in parampara. The second qualification is he should present the knowledge as it is without interpretation. Otherwise, interpretations can be too many, you know. Like if you say Madhuri Sharma gayi, so someone will think Madhuri Sharma gayi. Someone will think Madhuri Sharma, gay. One line in Hindi can be interpreted Madhuri Sharma gay. Madhuri Sharma gay. In Marathi, ye the thunku naye. Ye the thunku naye. Or udhar ek alphabet idhar udhar ho gaya na ye the thunku niye. To udhar thuk kya aata hai wo aadmi? Huh? Misinterpretation of text is like a common thing, you know, tampering with the text. and you may have on uh, on a blackboard an english professor wrote a line without punctuation and told all his students now punctuate this line what was the line he said woman without her man is nothing punctuated so all the men wrote you know they wrote woman without her man is nothing matlab man important hai uske liye and all the ladies wrote woman without her man is nothing one thing here their misinterpretations is so common you know my god i was telling this family the other day one speaker was giving a lecture and while giving a lecture he was quoting this verse saying sarva upanishado gavo dogdha gopala nandana all the upanishads are like a cow and dogdha means a cowherd krishna is like the cowherd is milking the cow and giving the geeta so one of the audience member says are aap do kuch do gadha do gadha bol rahe the do gadha kaun sa hai the speaker said main ek gadha jo tere ko samjha nahi paya aur tu dusra gadha jo kuch samjha 
misinterpretation of the verses can be a lot so guru is who he does not give his interpretations gives the knowledge as it is the third aspect of a qualification of a guru is he walks his talk there are many who can speak big things there are very few people who live by what they speak when you look for a guru na first see whether he practices what he preaches and walks his talk you know otherwise bol bachan baji to bahut log karte hain lot of bol bachan baji goes on big stuff a lot of people keep talking there are three things vichar aachar prachar the first thing your vichar has to be proper your thinking has to be proper second thing after proper vichar the aachar has to be proper action and when your action is proper then prachar then can you speak and tell your people that i am a guru listen from me you know today's aachar in this india country my god all politicians their favorite aachar is bhrashtachar you know my goodness his aachar has to be pakka there was a sadhu a lady came to him said maharaj my child na eats too many sweets can you help him with giving up sweets the sadhu said come next week so she brought the child from a distance next week said come next week four weeks he called her again and again and the fifth week he said to the child beta do not eat sweets and the child stopped eating sweets the week after that the mother came back and said to the sadhu maharaj thank you so much for taking my child off all these sweets he was like a addict to these sweets but may i ask you you spoke four words do not eat sweets you called me for four weeks to say four words I said no it didn't take four weeks to say four words it took four weeks to give up eating sweets i was myself into eating so many sweets na it took me four weeks to first stop eating sweets and then after i practice what i follow and i say na that word has so much potency when people who practice what they say and they walk their talk it has so much potency that the person who listens to that gets the determination to follow it all this big big motivational talks and all of that why people can't follow it they pay so much money to go and attend this motivational seminars and they come back at the end of the day being hyped up and inspired but when it comes to living by it they're not able to live by it why because the guy who's speaking is not living by it his words don't have the potency to create a revolution of determination in the heart of the listener you know a guru is he who practices what he preaches and the fourth thing is qualification of guru he guides you in the practical application of this knowledge how is it applicable to you as a professional arjun was on the battlefield as a warrior and you are a lawyer how will you apply that verse samoham sarva bhuteshu name dvesho name priya how will you apply that verse in your particular case i am a housewife i don't go and work how will this particular verse of the gita apply to me while i'm at house i am a student how will these verses of the gita guide me as a student you can't get it from a book a guru knows each of us our individual situations and gives us the application of those principles for us personally you know there was a guy young man he lost his left hand you know and when he lost his left hand this man decided to try a brand new sport martial arts hurry <laughs> without a left hand how do you spend, how do you have martial arts so no i want to try martial arts so okay fine no problem came to a senzi a martial arts teacher and said sir can you teach me martial arts please he said yes why not come join us and the teacher started teaching him martial arts for one year all the teacher taught him was one one move of martial arts ek hi cheez sikhaya roz wahi cheez sikhaya and this guy was so frustrated thinking what is the teacher thinking of himself you know i want to learn martial arts i've come here without a hand so determined and still he's only taught me one thing in one year one move of martial arts and after that one year was over he thought i'm quitting i'm leaving 
and just as he was about to leave the teacher came to him and said you know what son this is a martial arts championship and the guy who is the best in martial arts with 30 years experience is going to be there for the martial arts i want you to contest against him this guy said sir yeah he is 30 years experience i am only one he has both his hands i only have one he knows all the moves of martial arts you only taught me one the senzi said you go ahead you just go ahead taking the word of the senzi this guy came into the arena in the first round this guy was badly beaten up he cried the senzi said go on man just go on and from the second round on this guy one year experience kept beating up the guy with 30 years experience an expert martial arts champion kept beating him up and won the championship he was elated besides himself in joy that in one year experience without a hand i beat the greatest martial arts champion in the country so he came up to the sensei and said sir i have a question i don't have a hand all you taught me was one move of martial arts how how is it possible that i could win this contest against the biggest expert in the country the sensei said that one move that i taught you na every single time you have make that move in martial arts the only way for the opponent to defend himself is to catch your left hand and you don't have it so every single time you go and contest a martial arts champion you will win because this is the only one move you require with that one right hand you make that move and for him to defend he has to catch your left hand otherwise he can't defend himself and you don't have your left hand so son i have made you a champion forever no one can defeat you right that's a guru knows our weaknesses knows our strengths and accordingly gives us the moves required to move on in life they are not the same for all for someone he had a left hand or he doesn't have a left hand someone has a right hand doesn't have a leg who is an expert guru he knows our weaknesses our strengths and guides us accordingly to move on so what are the four qualifications of guru first he should be coming in a parampara secondly he should not give any misinterpretations of knowledge thirdly he should walk his talk practice what he preaches and fourthly he should guide us based on our weaknesses and strength it's not a blanket formula for all right now second aspect is what does the guru teach us in our life then how do i practice bhakti yoga after approaching a guru the second point is the clive curve has changed the guru says practice the krishna connection that i have given you connect to krishna how to connect to krishna first a for association beware of whom you associate with if you want to uplift yourself and move on the spiritual path association is a very crucial aspect we are like the person whom we associate with our choices are all based on association we make choices based on our company you know how our choices are formed my god during the rainy season there is a nakshatra called the swati nakshatra and in the swati nakshatra the drop of water falling from the swati nakshatra has the potential to become a pearl that's what becomes a basara pearl you know that drop of water not every drop of water has the potential to be pearl that drop of swati nakshatra water when it comes in contact with dirt it becomes mucky mud and when that same drop of water comes in contact with an oyster shell it becomes a pearl is the same water with the same potential but that potential is uselessly wasted by contact with dirt and is completely developed in contact with basra i mean the oyster shell which means depends on what we come in contact with our potential of spirituality is developed our choices are many times made based on our upbringing you know how we have been brought up many times we make our choices based on that if your mother teaches you you know 
बेटा क्या रोते रोते आता है तो उसने एक झापड़ लगाया तू रोके आया तू दो मार के आना चाहिए था ना वट इज इज वैल्यू सिस्टम कोई भी कुछ करेगा ना चार मारना चाहिए उसको ऑल इज लाइफ यू विल कीप कंफ्रंटिंग पीपल एंड समाधक आए इस इज बेटा ऐसा नहीं करना चाहिए छोड़ देना बेटा छोड़ दो ऑल इज लाइफ विल बी टेकन फॉर टॉस बाय पीपल दिस हाउ वैल्यू सिस्टम अर अप ब्रिंगिंग is a very strong contributing factor to our choices you know our education is a very strong factor to contribute to our choices when you believe in a big bang and a darwin's theory and say there is no god na when no one's watching are kya there's no god above there big bang created the universe a monkey created life so there is no god that's what the education system teaches us live life merry man have a great time don't worry the third factor that contributes is media you know social and visual media in the united states of america in the late 60s and 70s marlboro cigarettes was a very famous brand and the marlboro man was the coolest model and it was a legal requirement for the united states of america that any television advertisement for a cigarette would have to have a flashing sign saying smoking kills so even marlboro had that legal requirement and all kids were watching this so in this advertisement the marlboro man comes on his horse smokes a cigarette and for 2 seconds there is a big letter sign that flashes saying smoking kills and then after that sign goes he comes and takes a puff of his smoke you know and does this and says who cares smoking kills who cares and guess what all the kids in the united states were rushing for marlboros and people were telling them are smoking kills and they would say who cares you know see how the media influences our choices and our systems value systems and the last but not the least is our company and our friends our association choose your association carefully don't be around people who are hedonistic don't only rub shoulders with people who are after things be with people who value life be with people who value relationships be with people who value balance be with people who value god be with people who value spirituality if you want to follow spirituality you will need like minded company there what does the guru teach first thing to practice bhakti yoga he teaches you be very careful about your company and your association the second thing he teaches is be for books regularly read spiritual books regularly read the bhagavad gita it is an instruction manual that will tell you what to do and what not to do you have to know what is right you have to know what is wrong how will you know what is right and what is wrong i did an exercise with everyone yesterday and i want to do that with you may i ask all of you to close your eyes and while your eyes close may i ask all of you to raise your hands Now may I ask all of you to kindly point in the northern direction with your eyes closed. Please point in the north. Now keep your hands there and open your eyes. And look around how many norths are there? Some are pointing here, some are pointing up, some are pointing in front, some are pointing there. How many norths are there? One. There's one north. Just because there are 300 people that doesn't mean there are 300 norths. there's one right and one wrong and our perceptions are only perceptions what does the gita do to us tells us what is right tells us what is wrong and gives us what is called as vivek buddhi you know making choices about gadgets now is very easy when you go to a shopping mall kaun sa ghadi karidu simple hai jeb mein paisa dekh kitna hai so very simple thing kaun sa ghadi karidu choice is very simple is it hard to make one guy went to buy a watch and the shopkeeper said patni ke liye dikhao ki mehangi wali dikhao very simple to make that choice jeb mein dekho kitna paisa hai partner in life that's slightly harder than a gadget compatibility nature socio economic background gujarati and tamil and hari krishna पंजाबी एंड महाराष्ट्रियन हरे कृष्णा 
होता रहता है सब तो चलता रहता है हार्ड अ चॉइस बट नॉट एज हार्ड वन गाय मेट इज फ्रेंड ही वॉज थर्टी एट ईयर्स ओल्ड एंड द फ्रेंड सेड अरे यू नॉट इट मैरिड सेड नो वाई आई वॉज लुकिंग फॉर अ परफेक्ट गर्ल said in last 20 years we are meeting after 20s you didn't find one he said of course i found one then what happened he said she was looking for a perfect guy <laughs> simple harder than partner choices is the choice between right and wrong what is right what is wrong to choose between that and harder than be choosing between right and wrong is choosing between right and right two rights a mother has a child in the womb and the condition is such that either the child can live or the mother can live who should survive giving the right to the mother to live is right giving the right to the child to live is right how do you make that decision between such situations unless you have proper knowledge of right and wrong and your intelligence is sharpened like a sword to slash out all doubts that's called viveka viveka means you know the difference between right and wrong and when the mind poses it na all these different things temptations from within the intelligence say shut up can't do it any of you have ever experienced the mind and intelligence dialogue you t- you put an alarm clock to get up in the morning and you lie down and the alarm rings what does the mind say so ja सो जा सो जा मेरे लाल सो जा ये अलार्म सुलाता है योर इंटेलिजेंस एयर रास्कल यू डिसाइडेड टू गेट अप टू गो फॉर अ जॉग गेट अप एंड गो से नो टुमारो द माइंड द इंटेलिजेंस एज रास्कल इट इज द सेम थिंग यू सेड येस्टरडे टुमारो एंड टूडे यू डेंट गो सो गो then what does the mind say that gor gopal das keeps talking till late night answering questions and i had so many questions i got back home at 12:30 how can i get up at 4:30 not today tomorrow intelligence says that gor gopal das is already up for mangal aarti see <laughs> you are sleeping still ha huh? what is this happening the intelligence says are dekho mere jo jogging partner the na ramesh kuresh sab so rahe hain main kyun uthu What does the intelligence say? Suresh is sixty kilos. Ramesh is fifty kilos. You are only hundred and three. Get up! <laughs> Any of you ever experienced this in different areas of life? Not just getting up. The fight between the mind and the intelligence. You know what the mind does? Keeps tossing between these choices. You know what the intelligence and Vivek is supposed to do? Like a sword, slash that. and give you a proper decision the right decision so first your intelligence has to know what is right to give the right decision you know and therefore whenever you have this dialogue you know who will win the one whom you feed if you feed your mind by listening to it every single time you listen to the mind it gets stronger every single time you neglect the mind and starve it it gets weaker feed your intelligence make it strong and slash the doubts the third thing that the guru says that you should do i'm sorry that one is the wrong thing there is chanting c for chanting a for association b for books c for chanting the way to connect to the lord in this age of kaliyuga is to chant his holy names you know just like when you drive a car the fuel for the car is different and the fuel for the driver is different you eat food for the body samosas kachoris gulab jamun rasgullas and you eat food for the soul what is the food for the soul chanting the name of god and when you chant the name of god you get strength to resist temptation itni shakti hame dena data man ka vishwas kamzor hona हम चले नेक रस्ते पे हम से भूल कर भी कोई भूल हो ना अरे भूल कर भी कोई भूल नहीं करना क्या सड़क का चना है क्या खरीद के भूल नहीं करना इज इट सो सिंपल वन हैज टू बी स्ट्रॉन्ग फ्रॉम विद इन टू रेजिस्ट टेम्पटेशन वन हैज टू बी स्ट्रॉन्ग फ्रॉम विद इन टू बी कनेक्टेड 
how does one remain strong by getting the power coming from god's name and therefore the guru teaches a c stands for chanting and d stands for diet and deities you know someone says are patthar ki poorti ka puja karte hain aap log patthar ki murti hai uski puja karke aap log baithte hain aise patthar ke samne sheesh jhukate hain we don't believe in all this idol and all of that stuff you know can someone give me 1000 rupees you have great quick thousand acha ek ek paper le lo madam aapka hai kya hai na ye give me a paper na this is not yours na it's okay whoever it is will clear it off you know what is this paper you know what is this पेपर पेपर छे पेपर छे बोथ आर पेपर नहीं अभी देखिए ना मैं कैसे करता हूं Hare Krishna <laughs> Every time I do this course it costs me 1000 rupees I'll be paying him 1000 rupees don't worry I'll be giving him 1000 rupees This is included in the course fees <laughs> divided over all of you <laughs> to tear this note <laughs> Both are paper no Why are you all so shocked? ऐसे सबके चेहरे उतर क्यों गए बोला जिसका भी हो भाड़ा ना हजार हमारा नहीं गया लेकिन उसका तो गया ना कैश बेशरम हजार रुपए का क्या क्या आता था पेपर है दोनों हा? नासिक में ना आरबीआई का प्रिंटिंग प्रेस है एक साइड से पेपर घुसता है दूसरी साइड से पैसा निकलता है एक साइड पे ऐसा मरतुकड़ा सुकड़ा वॉचमैन खड़ा रहता है एक लकड़ी लेके उसको हवा लगा तो उड़ जाएगा और दूसरे साइड में ए के फोर्टी सेवन लेके बड़े बड़े गन लेके खड़े क्यों कागज है दोनों अंदर से कागज गया बाहर से पैसा आया वाह प्रिंटिंग प्रेस खोल के रखा है वाई इज इट मनी ऑन दैट पीस ऑफ पेपर इज रिटर्न आई पेड आई प्रोमिस टू पे द बेर अ सम ऑफ रुपीज थाउजेंड गवर्नर हु इज वेर इज द गवर्नर यू प्रोमिस दैट स्टैंप मेक्स पेपर इन money no longer that paper acts as paper now it acts as money what is this stone what is that stone what is this paper what is that paper what is this stone what is that stone this paper acts as paper that paper acts as money this stone acts as stone that stone acts as god why this paper acts as money because it has been stamped that statue made of stone acts as god because a great saintly soul has stamped that murti not in every temple god is there don't think every temple there is god don't think you can buy a murti put it in the house and think this is god by worshiping it just like you can't print your own money Similarly you can't make any murti into god you have to have a great saintly soul to come and request the lord to come and stay in that form and that form becomes god it no longer works as stone now it is god just like that paper no longer acts as paper now it is money it has buying power right 
and therefore you offer your food to the lord when you offer that to god na it's such a simple way to just offer and eat you can practice spirituality by eating can there anything be anything easier you can practice spiritual life bhakti yoga by eating a for association b for books c for chanting such a simple thing to chant the name of god d for diet by offering it to the lord which is not a stone murti and that picture of radha vrindavan chandra because of lack of time i am not telling you the story but while you are all eating i shall take the microphone and tell the story there and you will see such an incredible story to prove that it is not a piece of stone it is god you know so what does the guru say how to practice bhakti yoga a b c d association books chanting diet and then he says avoid the unfavorable things friends there are certain things that are unfavorable for the practice of bhakti don't do it they are not spiritual but if you do it it harms your spirituality first is eating by violence don't engage in eating which involves violence you know why because if you haven't made life na you can't take life if you didn't make the house you can't break the house if you made someone then you can kill it we are eating simply to satisfy our taste buds don't engage into eating that involves violence because it goes against the principle of soft heartedness and compassion those who are on the spiritual path want to make their heart soft their feelings their emotions soft they want to have compassion and mercy in their hearts therefore they don't want to engage in acts of violence therefore the guru says to kill and eat is un- so are hum plants bhi to kill karke khate na palak paneer daba daba ke khaye na wo palak bhi to jeevan hai their plants have life so so what do we do first one has to eat to live right eat those things that are meant for us to eat god created plants and the whole vegetable kingdom for us to eat and i can give you a whole thesis on how killing and eating other creatures is not asked by god because the body wasn't created for it i can spoil to you scientifically which is again beyond the scope of the discussion here this evening you know so but you're still killing still killing and when you kill you will get karmic reaction for it but when you kill a goat and you kill a palak the reaction is different na the reaction and involved in killing a goat which feelings are involved and a palak plant which the feelings are not as evolved is different it's lesser and still there sin is still there so what do you do you offer it to krishna therefore when you offer that food to the deity whatever sin comes even in eating vegetarian food is gone so we are not vegetarian or non vegetarian we are krishnatarians who want to offer that food and free it from karma to bole are palak paneer ka agar nikal sakte to chicken tandoori ka bhi to reaction nikal sakte ho simple hai na wo offer karke chicken prasad khayega hum what's beautiful is in the gita krishna says patram pushpam phalam toyam yome bhaktya prayachati offer me a leaf fruit flower or water with devotion if he says na andam matanam macham krabam yome bhaktya prayachati I was born a Marwadi Jain. I have never touched any non-vegetarian food in life. And hand on my heart, I can put the hand on the Gita. They didn't keep the get Gita here today. I can put my hand on the Gita and said, "I'm ready to change." I know I'll vomit. I can't stand the smell inside of it because I never ate it. I was brought up like that. But I will change and I will eat every non-vegetarian food if Krishna says, "Offer me that." I'm not concerned about vegetarian or non-vegetarian. i'm concerned about what he wants because whatever i give him he'll free it from that sin and give me sin free fruit karma free food when no sin is involved therefore guru says first avoid this principle of violence it will make your heart heart with no feelings and when there is no feelings how will you love god you know how will you love god where there is no feeling you can't love a fellow creature who god created a sibling if i have a mentally challenged sibling na i won't kill it it's dependent on me i'll protect it you know all these animals and creatures are like mentally challenged siblings they hardly have any choice to do anything should i kill it no it's all the more my responsibility to protect it the second thing you know the lord says the guru teaches 
is don't engage in substance abuse you know because this goes against the principle of austerity one cannot think with clarity we don't want to depend on anything addictions are dependence we start depending on it for shelter we start depending on it for peace we start depending on it to forget our miseries we start depending on it for our pleasure don't depend on things don't depend on anything why does a guru say don't do it not because good or bad or this and that don't depend getting involved with it and depending on it our dependence is meant to be on god when i have a trouble i shouldn't go for substance abuse when i have a trouble i should go to god when i'm looking for pleasure i should not go for substance abuse i should go to god therefore he says do not engage in substance abuse three guys you know his friends used to always meet up i'm ending huh? just five five minutes we're ending don't worry sorry for the yesterday long talk some of them said kitta bolte hain bas na aap thakte nahi hum thak gaye <laughs> sorry yesterday is always a long session i made a mistake by not requesting the day before for half an hour extra every time i do it last time this time i forgot to ask you the day before can i take half an hour extra and suddenly changed it to so some people were looking at me like jala dunga raakh se tar khatam kar khatam kar <laughs> angrily looking at me <laughs> three friends were sitting in a pub one friend is one guy used to go in a pub always you know and pick up a glass three he would order three glasses of vodka and then he would take one and say cheers to my friend in canada and drink it and then he would say cheers to my friend in seattle and drink it and then he would say cheers to myself and then he would drink it teen glass roz peeta tha ek apna naam ka aur do dusre ka so one day he came and he ordered only two glasses so the bartender came and said kya ho gaya kaun sa gaya seattle wala chala gaya ये कैनेडा वाला चला गया दो ही मंगाया आज बोला नहीं दोनों हैं इधर तो बोला क्या चीयर्स टू द फ्रेंड इन कैनेडा चीयर्स टू द फ्रेंड इन सियाटल आई हैव बिकम हरे कृष्णा आई डोंट टेक ऑल ऑफ दोस्ती ये तो अपने दोस्त के नाम का पिया मैं तो नहीं पीता अभी आजकल हरे कृष्णा सो सबस्टेंस अब्यूज वी अवॉइड इट बिकॉज ऑफ डिपेंडेंस rather than depending on god we are depending on some stuff for pleasure or getting rid of our agony which is the problem the third thing that the guru teaches is do not have illicit connections because it goes against the principle of cleanliness and purity chastity loyalty guru doesn't say give up your family guru says be loyal to your partners you know and in this age especially today in bombay If I start telling you stories, I don't want to. Every third day, I hear stories from South Mumbai. You know, what to tell you? What to tell you of the lafadas that people do? My God, you know, one lady, one man got up early in the morning and told his wife, "Arey, मुझे सपना आया सपना." Well, अच्छा क्या सपना आया? I dreamt of a beautiful girl. Was it me? He said, "Chhi, तू नहीं." इतनी सुंदर थी वो इतनी सुंदर थी सो वाइफ सेड अकेली आई होगी नहीं बोले हाँ आपको कैसे मालूम बोला उसका पति मेरे सपने में अकेला आया था डोंट हैव इलिसिट कनेक्शन बिकॉज दे गो अगेंस्ट द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ चैस्टिटी लॉयल्टी एंड प्योरिटी एंड द फोर्थ थिंग द गुरु सेज इज डोंट एंगेज इन थिंग्स लाइक गैमलिंग because it goes against the principle of truth and brings in cheating propensity and one wants to gain things without working for them all honesty is gone and one gets into cheating only to grab more and more and therefore these four things are against the four pillars on which dharma stands dharma stands on four pillars mercy truthfulness austerity and cleanliness or purity you know Engaging in violent eating goes against the principle of mercy and breaks that pillar of dharma. Engaging in substance abuse breaks the pillar of dharma called austerity by making us depend on these things. Engaging in illicit connection goes against the principle of cleanliness and purity. And engaging in gambling breaks the pillar of honesty and truthfulness and therefore the guru says don't do these things which are unfavorable for your 
spiritual practice friends we have come to a conclusion to summarize the journey of self discovery course where we heard this evening what is akarma reaction free life where we start acting on behalf of god kesar yukta shrikhand you know what did we hear again what is yoga meaning of yoga it's not an exercise of pranayam it's meant to connect us to god building our relationship with god again what are the four types of yoga we heard karma yoga work gyan yoga intelligence dhyan yoga meditation and mind bhakti yoga love we heard that bhakti yoga is the best who can say cheese cake is best peach cake kiwi cake raspberry cake strawberry cake the guy who made it krishna gives this four paths and tells us bhakti yoga is the best why is it best for two reasons one it's adding you don't have to give up your wife family money cars homes gadgets nothing all you have to do is add the nine to the zeros every zero will get a value to give you fulfillment and the second reason why bhakti is easy is because it's simple how is it simple it's based on love where the small acts are magnified by god and the big blunders are forgiven by god because that's the path of love then we heard fifth how to practice bhakti yoga first approach a bona fide guru and learn from him what are the four qualifications of a guru we heard first he should be in parampara second he should not give any misinterpretations third he should walk his talk and fourth he should guide us practically how it is applicable for us knowing our strengths and our weaknesses like the sensei taught the student without the left hand the next thing we saw was he teaches us how to practice the krishna connection through a b c and d a association of like minded spiritual seekers b reading the books to sharpen our viveka to discriminate between right and wrong c chanting the name of god to connect to him and d is diet by offering the food to a deity hazar rupya dena pada humko uske liye last is avoid the unfavorable things which has the four regulative principles of no meat eating no intoxication no illicit connections and no gambling because they break the four pillars of dharma namely austerity cleanliness mercy and uh, truthfulness right in this way when you move out of this room today there are two or three things that you can start doing immediately one thing you can start doing immediately is sign up for our bhagavad gita follow up course which is a two years course we will be meeting every week once a week one evening the day is yet to be decided between 7:30 and 9 to discuss the whole gita from chapter 1 till chapter 18 that's the first thing you can do the second thing you don't have to wait is to start chanting don't think about stopping the negatives think about adopting the positives don't think ye chhodna hai wo chhodna hai wo socho hi mat kya karna hai socho how can i start chanting the names of krishna daily for anyone interested i shall be here to teach you personally how to chant how to do it everything was known to all of you i must thank all of you very very much for being here for this six evenings patiently bearing with me my sincerest apologies for you for yesterday's being so late my sincerest apologies for being very crude sometimes probably very strong sometimes probably off the key sometimes suddenly some joke comes to my mind i just say it you know sorry about it if my humor my points my words have by any way shape or form made you feel hurt bad offended my sincerest apologies to all of you my thanks to the organizers chetan rup prabhu and his team who has been serving prasadam and everything arranging all of the things thanks to also the prempuri trust for having last minute given us this venue to shift from the temple here and thanks to every single one of you for being here for this six days journey of self discovery course thank you all very much hare krishna krishna that 1000 uh, rupee note was a fake note by the way we always get it photocopied and that is ready with us it's a part of our course kit so itna jo jhatka laga na aapko 1000 rupya phada main to aapko jhatka khali kar raha hu 1000 rupya phada nahi maine wo nakli note tha wo 
नकली बनाया हुआ था सबके चेहरे देखे नहीं चाहिए थे और वो जो बैठा था ना लेके हजार रुपए और पहले हमारा प्लान था वो वो उधर जाके क्यों मांगा मैं उससे क्योंकि उसके पास देके रखा था आपसे भी तो ले सकता था यहाँ से दैट आई हैव टू रिवील नहीं तो पहले सब शौक खा के गए खा के गए